Hello everyone and welcome back to my YouTube channel. I'm so excited to be back. Um, I'm actually doing something a little bit different this time. I've been doing a lot of dance videos, which I love, and I do actually have a few more of those coming up. But in the meantime, I've decided to just try um, a few new things. I have a bunch of ideas and I just figured why not just go for it and let's see what um, fits and see what doesn't. So I was actually shooting in Koreatown the other day and we all went to eat Korean barbecue afterwards and at the Korean barbecue place that I was eating at, literally in the same plaza, there was this Japanese store. Um, and I was just like, wait, it's so colorful. It looks really cool inside. I have no idea what this is. Let's go in there and check it out. So this place, <laughs> I feel like I'm gonna butcher the name, but it, it looks like it says Shibuyala, Shibuyala. You guys can see that. Shibuyala. <laughs> so um, it just had a bunch of really cool stuff in there. I obviously have no idea what any of it says. So if any of you guys can translate any of this for me, please, please, please tell me in the comments. Um, so what we're gonna do today is I'm just gonna go through what I bought at the store. And uh, it's mostly food, actually I think it's all food. And I'm just gonna try it for the first time here with you together, um, see what tastes good, see what doesn't, and just kind of do something totally different and um, hopefully it's <laughs> still a lot of fun. So, all right, let's get to it. Let's just open up the first thing. All right, no idea what this is. Give you a little look-see. You guys can see that. I want to say it's like, looks like cookies maybe? Yeah, it's like a, the shape of a star and it looks like cookies. All right, so let's just open this. Oh, tiny little thing. What this, this box is this tiny little thing. What is that? Come on. Oh, wait, there's something else inside. Hold on. What's this? Again, absolutely no idea. I can see that. All right, so let's just open this yellow bag first. Okay, yeah, it is. It's a cute little, like, like stars. Um, they're like puffs. It smells kind of sweet. Let's try it. Oh, that's good. Oh my god, it's like cereal. Whoa, that's delicious. What? Oh, this is so yummy. Oh, I feel like I have so many things in here. I could eat this whole bag right now, but I better not. Oh, that's really yummy. I almost feel like this looks like a little prize or something. I can't really tell. I don't know if I can open it. I literally just got my nails done, so I'm like, good lord. Oh, okay. It's a little piece of paper that I have absolutely no idea what it says on it. I think it's, I can't tell if it's a sticker. It almost looks like a little collectible kind of um, card in a sense. It's very, it's very thin now for a card. But um, yeah, so if anybody has any idea I don't know, I'm not even gonna attempt to say that name on there because I'm gonna butcher it, but. Interesting, this was really yummy. Okay, I really wanna eat another one, but I mean, let's move on, shall we? I think we have to decide um, what I like are my favorites um, and what are my least favorites and maybe I can get more of the favorites. So next we have, oh, more cookies. Surprise, I like cookies. All right, they kind of look like I don't know, almost like butter cookies, they kind of look like. Let's see. All right. It says cookies on here, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> so I'm right about that. All right, let's see. Oh, they're kind of, they look like sugar cookies, right? You guys have seen these, like, you know, those, like, those grandma cookie tins. That's kind of what this looks like without the sugar on top. Oh, that's good. Oh, it's really good. This would be perfect with like a cup of tea or even like a little bit of like ice cream in the middle and you squish two of them together and have like tiny little ice cream sandwiches. Oh, that's good. Good thing I'm hungry, gosh. All right, so two for two so far. There's a lot of stuff in this bag. Next, <laughs> I can't tell if these are cookies or crackers. It says sandwiches. Oh, it says gorgonzola and camembert. So they must be savory. Here, let me show you. Got an idea here. So 
I'm guessing they're pretty savory. Let's see. Yeah, it's just sandwiches. I don't know. Come on. Well, I wrap that. Say, okay. Yeah, it just looks like kind of like Ritz crackers with like some sort of cheese in the middle. You can see that. <laughs> oh, yes. Oh my God. Oh, that's delicious. That tastes so good. Tastes like cheese. Like super savory cheese. Not like, almost like those tiny little like, um, like tiny little miniature versions of these that have like the cheddar cheese in the middle. That's kind of what it tastes like, but a different kind of cheese in the middle. Oh, this is really good too. Oh yeah. What? Three for three? Who are we right now? Oh my God. All right, yep. That was fantastic. Let's move on. Wait, there's a, <laughs> I didn't realize there's actually a lot of stuff in here. All right, so we're back to, it looks like more cookies. I can't tell if it's like macadamia nut. I can't tell if it's like um, white chocolate. Oh, you know what? It, it actually looks like it has like, like butter. Can you guys see that? Okay, look at the camera. Looks like it's like a picture of like steaming butter. So maybe that's savory too. All right, let's try it. And honestly, I don't even know what's what, obviously. So some of this might be savory, some of this might be sweet. No clue. I don't care what order it is, I'm gonna eat it all. Oh, and it comes in like tiny little packages of it. Okay, it says Country Man Royale in English on the front. Everything else, no idea what it says. All right, so let's try it. Wait, this, this looks sweet. This doesn't look savory at all. Maybe it's like a butter cookie. It smells kind of burnt, <laughs> but it looks good. It looks kind of yummy. We're gonna try it. All right, let's do this. Oh, it's soft. Mm. Not terrible. It's definitely on the sweeter side. Not super sweet, but on the sweeter side. It's a very soft cookie. It just tastes kind of burnt. Like slightly overcooked. It was like a little bit cooked, just a little bit less. We're gonna put this in the maybe pile because I'm not sure how I feel about that. All right, out of four of them, I guess it was about time that I had one that I wasn't really crazy about. So let's move on. Definitely more cookies. I mean, they have to be, right? Can I see that? Um, I remember thinking that they had a lot of these in the store and it was also really cheap. I think it was like just under $2 or something. Oh, you know what? On the back it says Meyer Biscuit. So maybe they are sweet. So this almost feels like just kind of like a quick little snack kind of vibe. All right, let's try one. Cute little cookies. Oh no. Oh no. No, 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 no. Oh, that's terrible. Oh my god. Oh. Oh, that's awful. What? Oh, why? 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 Awful, 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 awful. Oh my god. Oh, that was so gross. Oh, that was so gross. Oh dear. Oh, wash it down. Mm -mm. Ugh. Horrible. What the hell is in this? Disgusting, and you know what? I think I even actually bought two of these. Great, garbage. Maybe I'll just give it to somebody I don't like and be like, oh my God, I got something for you. <laughs> All right, Ugh. that's an indefinite no pile. Ah, next, okay, next. Oh, please, please be something good. Please be something good. 
All right, what's this? Oh, I remember thinking there were like mystery boxes. And this is actually not food. So we're gonna open up something that's food for now. Actually, you know what? We're gonna eat something that I already liked. A little starfish were really good to try and get that flavor out of my mouth. Oh Lord. Okay. Now, <laughs> back to the mystery box. Um, this says Pop Mart. Oh, you know what? It has a bunch of little things in here. I can't tell. I want to say it's like, like a half a dozen little toys. Oh no, it's a dozen. Let's see. Four, eight, twelve. Yeah, twelve little designs. How cute is this? It says Bunny Magic Series. It's so bright. I you guys can see that. And here's the front. Can you tell? It's so bright. Anyway. Alright, so let's open this. Not food again, but they're toys. We always like little toys. I always need new things for my game room, so I'm sure I can find a little shelf in that room. All these little goodies. All right, so let's see. And there's a card. Just says Bunny Magic Series on the front and on the back. Can't really read that, but yeah. <laughs> oh, what's helping you? Oh, what? Is this is exciting. I never think they, these were like really cheap. I think they were like four or five bucks for the whole box. Let's even see what it comes with. Oh, you guys, there's not 12 in them. Duh, Phoenix, get your life. It is, there's 12 different um, designs and depending on what box you get, depends on what toy you get. And uh, you have absolutely no idea because they're like little mystery boxes. Okay, so I got, ah, she's so cute. She looks like a little bunny, fairy like nymph or something like how cute she looks like she belongs in like zelda <laughs> can y'all shake oh you can't really tell she's so cute oh this is so going to make game how exciting ah yay oh i love those little mystery boxes these are so cute oh and you know what obviously so the card has um the toy that you got so 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 cute all right, going to the game room. And you know what? There's actually a couple more mystery boxes. So let's just open those all up right now. Oh my God, ah, I forgot. I got a Harry Potter one. Ah, I was like, do I even want to open this? Oh, I must, I must, I must. Um, all right, let's see. Again, there's 12 different choices of toys. Well, options of toys that you could possibly get. And they are all over the place. Let's see, they've got Dumbledore, Dobby, Voldemort, Hagrid, Hermione, Ron, Draco, Professor McGonagall, how cute, uh, Lupin, Sirius Black, Fluffy, die! And then the 12th one just says secret, so it could just be probably any other character. And then y'all know, if you know me well enough and you've been following me for a while, you know I'm obsessed with Harry Potter. Like anytime it gets brought up in casual conversation, you can't get me to shut up about it, it's like a whole thing. So anyway, let's see what's in this one. I don't know which one I'd want. Oh, you know what? Oh! <gasps> ah! Oh my god, I got Voldemort! No, freaking Lord! That's so cool! Little baby Voldemort! And the photo has like a little tiny Nagini next to him. Oh my god, what? Hell yeah. Oh, this is awesome. I need to get all of these. There's only 12. I need to get every single one of them. Like, where can I get more? Clearly, I have to go back to that store. What? online or something. Oh, uh, obsessed, obsessed, obsessed. That was a great purchase. All right, let's see. It looks like there's one more mystery box. It's got a little teddy bear on it, so cute. And there's six different styles you could potentially get. Um, different colors on the back. Um, different positions, super, super cute. 
All right, so let's open this little baby. <laughs> oh, it comes with like a little piece of gum. It's almost like the universe was thinking of me because I hated those whatever disgusting, weird tasting cookies that I had a minute ago. And this is actually perfect um, to kind of change my palate from that horrible taste. So before we open this little bear, let's just try this little, little piece of gum here. Oh, it's bubble gum. Oh, that was gonna be minty. Oh, but it's fruity, that's so yummy. Oh, and look, I got exactly the bear that came with it on the box. How cute is that? Oh, let's open this little baby up. I really wrap these things in there really tight. Oh, that's so cute. Oh, look at him. I really need to make sure that if I'm gonna be collecting more of these mystery boxes, which we all know I am, that I put um, more shelving in my game room because I feel like I'm running out of room. I'm getting so many fun little knickknacks and so many people are giving me fun stuff. I don't have a lot of space anymore to put everything so I have to put more shelves in the room so I can have more space to put all the fun stuff. And this gum, delicious. Um, we're gonna have to try the next bit of food there's only a few more things left. I'm trying to decide which ones I want to do next. Um, me, no, let's try these. So I grabbed a couple of these. Again, no clue what they are, but it says pop can on the front. One is green and it looks like it's got chipmunks on it. Um, and one is kind of pinkish and it looks like it's got, um, Goofy and Daisy on it, I believe. So I'm guessing the green one, and you know what, and the green one even has like a, it almost looks like green tea, like a can of green tea on the front. And the pink one has strawberry. So obviously I'm guessing this one's strawberry flavor. And I really want to guess if it's green tea, but it could be like, no, I'm gonna, I'm gonna say green tea. Cause there's no apples or anything, so I have no idea. All right, so I don't know which one I should try first. Mm, 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 mm. Let's try the green one first because Strawberry might be the easier Ooh, flavor. <laughs> ah, God. Oh, it's a lollipop. Oh, it's so cute. Okay, let me get rid of this gum. Mm -mm -mm. All right, so it's a lollipop. Green tea lollipop, does that sound kind of funky? Doesn't smell like anything. It's gotta be apple though, right? Oh God. Okay, here we go. Why do they have a picture of a cup of green tea on the on the package? It actually tastes pretty good. I'm not gonna lie. This is pretty delicious. Mm. Okay, let me stop eating this because this is really growing on me. But I want to say apple. I don't feel that like that's green tea at all. It's got to be apple. Okay, well that was really yummy. We'll put that in the yes pile. There's a no piles up here. All right, so now let's try the strawberry one. I mean, it better be strawberry because I thought that was green tea and that wasn't, so. Come on. Ugh. They're so cute. It looks like little Mickey Mouse. They're so cute. All right, let's try this one. Um, it almost tastes like strawberry soda, which I don't like, actually. I'm gonna give it a couple more licks and confirm. Yeah, I don't like it. I was hoping that like, the more I kind of tried it, the flavor would come out a little bit differently maybe. And then I like it, but I don't like it. 
I like that green one a lot more. So you're going in the no pile, sorry. Oop. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we're down to the last two. Oh, I don't know which one to try. You know what? Let's do this one next. Oh, wait, ha, <laughs> this is just tea. I forgot I got this. Cause I was, and you know what? Actually, this would be great with those cookies that I had earlier that I said would be really good with tea. So, since we're here, and I already have my teacup. <laughs> wow, upper body strength working. Come on. All right. So it looks like. Oh, and it's loose. Wait, this is tea. Yeah, it says Royal Milk Tea. It says tea. All right, let's just try it. Let's put this in my little teacup right here and see. I shall return. Mm -hmm. This is literally exactly how I would drink my tea. I mean, it's so good. Oh, just so warm. That's why I love like hot drinks. It's like, oh, it feels so good. Actually, since we're here, let's try it with one of those cookies that I really liked. I'm trying to remember which cookie it was. Um, I think it was these. Right? Yeah, the one that says cookie on it. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to dip this in here. We're going to try it with a little bit of tea. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, my God. Oh, that's perfect. Oh, that's delicious. Damn. So good. What? Oh, it was so yummy. I'm so happy. Oh, yay. Can you tell? <laughs> mm. Okay, okay, okay. Before I get too excited, we've got one more thing to try in my bag here. So, let's look at this. Oh, <laughs> I was like, looks like chocolate. It says chocolate right on the front. It says, thank you, Tyrol Choco. It's got a bunch of little um, pictures of the different kinds of chocolates that I assume you can get in this bag. Um, it even has different pictures on the back. So let's kind of read this for a second. We've got milk chocolate. I have no idea. It looks like there's a strawberry jelly one. A white like cookies and cream one, a peanut one, almond one, and then I don't know what the other two are. But this is fantastic and delicious. So let's open this. <laughs> Alright, I kind of want to try one of each, so let's see if we can find one of each. So we've got the white chocolate with cookies and cream, it looks like. This one says Tyrol chocolate. I wonder if this is just regular. Oh, you know what? It might be dark chocolate, actually. It looks like dark chocolate, right? You guys tell? Yeah. <laughs> um, okay, here's the strawberry jelly. Uh, what else? This one looks like peanuts. Yup. Peanuts. Uh, what else? Right, am I missing one? Oh, almond. So cute. Was that the last of it? Let me look on the back here. One, two, three, four, five, six. I'm missing one. Oh, there's a blue one. What is this one? This one is this. Oh, it's got a cookie on the front. So it looks like it's like chocolate with a cookie inside. All right. Let's just try all of these, shall we? So I'm going to start with, I kind of want to do like my favorite, what I think is going to be my favorite last. So I'm going to do the, uh, the white chocolate, like cookies and cream one last. Cause I feel like I'm going to like that one the most. And maybe we do the dark chocolate second to last. No, no. Yeah, okay. Well, I don't know. Ah! Okay, no, we'll do the cookie one second to last. And then we'll do strawberry jelly first, then nuts, then almonds, then dark chocolate, so on and so forth. Let's do this. So strawberry jelly. I feel like I'm not going to like this. <laughs> um, I'm a little nervous. I don't really like strawberries and chocolate together. If that even makes any sense. I don't know. I could be lying. I have no idea. Okay. It's such a cute little, like, look how cute this is. Perfectly cut and packaged. All right, let's try this. Smells great. Oh, 
and it's got jelly in the middle. Oh, oh, oh no. No, 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 no. That jelly didn't, I did not need that jelly. Uh-uh, that was terrible. In the no pile? What? Not as bad as that cookie where I literally had to like rinse my mouth out. I have my tea now, so give me a second. Mm. Oh, that's terrible. Ugh. All right, next. Um, we'll try the nut one, little peanut one. I mean, you kind of can't really go wrong with the peanuts and chocolate, right? I'm not usually a big fan of nuts, to be honest with you. I usually only like nuts by themselves, like in like a trail mix or something. I don't really like nuts in my food. I don't know why. Doesn't make any sense. But that's how I am. All right, so let's try this little baby. Oh, it's got like chocolate crunches in it too. Almost like a, like a chocolate cereal mixed with the peanuts. And that's actually really good. That's good, I like that. Okay. Lovely. Of the six, we've got one that we like so far. So let's try the almond one next. It's got a little almond face on the front, so cute. All right. I'm guessing this is pretty straightforward. Even has a picture of an almond on the front of the chocolate. <laughs> Imagine it's just milk chocolate with an almond right in the middle, right? Oh. <laughs> yep, I was right. I ate the whole almond. Literally just took that right out of there. It's in my mouth now. And that's good. You know, it just tastes like a, like the almond m and like that's exactly what it tastes like. But the packaging is so cute. Yummy. Okay, so now we're going into what I believe is a dark chocolate. So let's try that. All right, let's see. It doesn't look like dark chocolate. I really don't know. It looks like milk chocolate to me. Oh, oh my god. Caramel. No, not caramel. Fudge? Oh, I don't know what that's called. It's like a caramel and a fudge together. Come on, you guys need to help me out here. Oh, I don't know. And it has a coffee flavor to it. If you know what I'm talking about, please write in the comments because I cannot remember the name of this. This is actually really good. I was a little skeptical at first. This is actually really good. I like it. I'm gonna go put it all in my mouth. It's already melting. Oh my god, that's good. It kind of tastes like one of those Werther's. Have you ever had one of those? I used to be obsessed with them when I was a kid. Um, it always stick to my teeth and I thought it was just so much fun. But that's kind of what it tastes like, like the chewy Werther's with a little bit of chocolate. Pretty good, not bad. And you know what, I'm actually glad that I started drinking the tea first. Cause now I have something to help wash all the chocolate down. Mm. Oh. Ooh, I'm getting tired. Try all this food, my goodness. Get kind of full too. All right, well we only have two more left, so Let's do this. This one's got the cookie in it, I believe, because it has a photo of the cookie on it, so, right? <laughs> Let's try this. Again, milk chocolate. Yep, all right. Kind of like a Snickers without the caramel. You kind of can't really go wrong with cookies and chocolate, right? Okay, that's good, that's yummy. Last and least, let's try my cookies and cream. I feel like, well that sounded really weird. <laughs> I feel like I uh, might have hyped this one up in my mind a little bit. And now I'm scared that it might not taste that good, but let's try this. Mm. 
like that first initial bite, yes. But as you kind of get into it a little bit more and the flavors come out, a little bit strong. It's a lot of cookie in here, I don't know if you can really tell. And like not that much white chocolate. It almost needs more white chocolate and a little bit less cookie. Oh, I thought my favorite was going to be that one. And it wasn't. Interesting. I think my favorite was, which one was my favorite, darling? Honestly, I think my favorite was the peanut one. How wild. Considering I'm not really crazy about nuts and other things. That was the best one. Okay. Wow. <laughs> All right, everyone. That's it for today's kind of, um, I don't know, I guess you can call it a mukbang. Japanese store food finds. <laughs> and um, it's my first time doing something like this. And I really liked it. This was a lot of fun. Really easy, really um, interesting. And I feel like there's actually a lot of Japanese stores in and around the LA area that I need to go check out and just get a bunch of different little things just like I did today and just try them out and see what I like and see what I don't like. And there was actually a lot of things that I did really like. And I also, you already know how much I'm totally madly in love with these little mystery boxes. I have to find more of them, so exciting. Yeah, so anyway, thank you all so much for coming by. I hope you had a great time. Uh, let me know, again, in the comments, like I was saying, if you know any of the names and meanings of any of the things that I tried today, please write it in the comments too, just because I'm really curious. And I can't wait to do another one of these. So exciting. Hope you all have a wonderful rest of your day, and I'll see you all again very, very soon. Bye. Meep, 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 meep.